हेलो दिस इज सुनीता वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एम एल टी क्लस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर वीडियोस इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न कोआगुलेज टेस्ट सो उइथाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट स्टार्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज कोआगुलेज टेस्ट इट्स पार्पास प्रिंसिपाल रिएजेंट्स क्वालिटी कंट्रोल मेथड्स रिजल्ट प्रिकॉशंस एंड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ बैक्टेरिया एट फार्स्ट उई उल सी ह्वाट इज कोआगुलेज टेस्ट The coagulase test is a particularly important test that is used to differentiate Staphylococcus aureus from Staphylococcus epidermidis and Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Coagulase is an enzyme produced by Staphylococcus aureus. It is one of the virulence factor. The coagulase enzyme brings about clotting of human or rabbit plasma. It requires the coagulase reacting factor CRF for its action coagulase does not clot the plasma of guinea pig and few other animals as it lacks crf hence we can't use the plasma of these animals calcium and other clotting factors are not required eight types of coagulase has been identified most of human strains from coagulase type a now we will see its purpose it is used to differentiate staphylococcus aureus from other staphylococcus species free and bound coagulase can be detected by this coagulase test principle staphylococcus aureus produces the enzyme coagulase which causes plasma to clot by converting soluble fibrinogen to insoluble fibrin How does the coagulase work? At first coagulase binds with coagulase reacting factor. It acts like prothrombin and fibrinogen is converted to fibrin. Coagulase is present in two forms: bound coagulase and free coagulase. Bound coagulase can be detected by slide coagulase test and free coagulase can be detected by tube coagulase test. The positive control is Staphylococcus aureus and the negative control is Streptococcus epidermidis. Our next point is requirements. Now we will see what are required for this test. The general requirements are 18 to 24 hours growth culture of the organism to be tested. Sterile normal saline or distilled water and pool human plasma, clean glass slide applicator sticks are required for slide coagulase test one is to six diluted plasma and sterile test tubes are required for tube coagulase test there are two methods slide method and tube method at first we will know what is slide method the procedure of slide method at first place a drop of physiological saline on each end of a slide make thick suspension of the organisms in each drop add one drop of plasma to one of the suspensions mix gently and look for clumping of the organisms within 10 seconds take a clean glass slide mark t for test and c for control draw true lines on the slide with wax pencil then place a drop of normal saline on both the circles with the help of applicator stick take the colonies and gently emulsify the colony in the liquid of these circles place a drop of undiluted pooled human plasma into the circle t place a drop of normal saline into the circle c rock the slide and observe for agglutination of the test a positive reaction will be detected within 10 to 15 seconds and the test is considered negative if no agglutination is observed after 2 minutes 
If the control suspension agglutinates, then the test is uninterpretable. Now we will see tube method. Procedure of tube method. At first prepare saline suspension of the organisms, then add plasma, incubate and then observe clot formation. At first we will prepare the diluted plasma. Take a sterile container and mark as 1 is to 6 diluted plasma. Now add 5 ml of sterile normal saline to the container. To this 5 ml of normal saline we are going to add 1 ml of pooled human plasma. Now the final dilution of the plasma will be 1 in 6. This freshly prepared plasma can be kept in refrigerator for 2 to 3 days. Emulsify a small amount of colony in 0.5 ml of saline or 0.5 ml of plasma. We will add 0.5 ml of plasma to the 0.5 ml of inoculum. Now the tube is ready for incubation. Incubate for 4 hours at 37 degrees centigrade. After 4 hours we are going to look for the presence of the clot. Tube should be gently tilted to note the degree of clotting. Results If there is clumping within 10 seconds, then we can say this may be Staphylococcus aureus. If there is no clumping within 10 seconds, then we can say there is no production of coagulase. Now we will see what are the precautions. Use clean and greasy slides. Culture should not be more than 24 hours old. Plasma, if refrigerated, should be brought to room temperature before use. The slide and tube coagulose positive bacteria's name are given here. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe MLT class for more important informations like this. And don't forget to share this with your friends. Thank you.